I think the shadiest moment of the series was when Dee Dee was trying to say that she thought Micah was going to go home and Tamara turned to her and said, so you've got no badges? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely creased me. Gagged by the comments. I mean, we had no idea what was going on. I was just sitting there enjoying my cocktail, like, what? <laughs> I was so starstruck to see Carol Vorderman in the Snatch oh. Game. I mean, it's the Vorders. I grew up with her, do you know what I mean? Two from the top, one from the bottom, you what? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Maruli. Hey, hiya, it's me, Ginger Johnson. And I'm Tamara Thomas, and we are from Drag Race UK, and we're getting up close with Cosmo UK. Ooh. Come here. Oh, closer. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more like this. My RuPaul's Drag Race experience was wild, intense, and incredible. A massive roller coaster. Amazing, surreal, and iconic. Three Northern Queens ended up in the final because we're the best. We are fabulous, we're funny, we're daft, we're stupid. We've got heart, we've got grit, we've got soul, and we just have a whale of a time together. Oh yeah, leave something for the rest of us, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> we don't take ourselves too seriously, you know? Life's serious enough without it. So we just went in and had the best time that we could. It's because, can you smell that? It's talent, baby. The talent just oozes out of us northern girls. You're welcome. I think what's unique about us Northern girls is that we're all working class, we've all had a bit of a struggle, and we just relish this opportunity to get to show our drag and be our fabulous selves. I don't know if this was the top three that I saw getting there from week one, but I think by the time we got to week four and we'd done our little disaster class together and made RuPaul absolutely wet her knickers, <laughs> I think the writing was on the wall. Oh, uh -huh. I couldn't agree any more, Ginger, my darling. I think my highlight, well, there's been many of highlights of the series, but I think one that really stuck out to me is when the RuPaul said, you are a star. And I couldn't agree anymore. <laughs> but also meeting everyone in the cast. It's such a special cast. The sisterhood, the bond. It was incredible. My highlight was definitely the makeover challenge and getting to meet Peter and give him his glorious little moment in the sun and hearing his story. Gorgeous. My highlight of the series was on day one, walking into that workroom, turning the corner, and seeing the amount of talent that was in the room and knowing that we had a really special series on our hands. Oh, I think I've learned that I am a very crazy lady and I don't take myself too serious and life's about having fun. And I embrace that. I've learned to really live in the moment and just enjoy what you're doing right now. Life runs so fast, so you just got to grab everything as it is and just enjoy, relax and breathe. I used to think of myself as someone that didn't really get involved in the drama, but there I am on TV every week sticking me oar in. So what I've learned about myself is I'm a little bit messy. For me, the hardest part of the competition is that nerve in charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent. And nerve is all about trusting your instincts. The second you start to think, what is anybody else thinking about me? How am I being perceived? Am I making the right choice? That is when you lose your nerve. I think the hardest part of the competition was actually the preparation to get mm. to the bloody competition. You know, it's, you have a very, very short time. You have all of these looks, and not only looks, that comes with accessories, wigs, tights, undergarments, the list goes on, so I definitely think it was the preparation. Well, you didn't pack any clothes, did you? <laughs> well, you had to pack other balance. stuff. I <laughs> thongs. All them thongs. I think the hardest part of the competition was seeing people go week in, week out. You're seeing badge winners fall out of the competition and just at any moment, one little slip and it could be you. And it was just real. That was actually my favourite part. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I was absolutely starstruck by Ashling B because not only is she an amazing comedian, she's also a fabulous actor, a brilliant writer, and just an amazing mind. So getting to perform comedy in front of Ashling was a real privilege. I was gagged with Alexandra Beck. Mm. Bad boys, bad boys. I love Alexandra <laughs> Beck. And also Edward Enfield. What the hell? Crazy. I was so starstruck to see Carol Vorderman in the Snatch oh. Game. I mean, it's the Vorders. I grew up with her, do you know what I mean? Two from the top, one from the bottom, you what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I really learned just to trust my instinct and don't overthink what you're doing. If you think it's right, just go with it and do it and let go. What I learned from RuPaul is that the power that I feel when I'm in drag 
I can bring that into my real life as well. You know, I can harness the power of drag and take it out into the world, even if I've not got my stilettos on. To really just be your true self, and you know, and that will be celebrated. And if you are your true authentic self, let that true authentic self shine and people will fall in love. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do love you. Too. Thank you. Gagged by the comments. I mean, we had no idea what was going on. I was just sitting there enjoying my cocktail, like, what? It was very gaggy, but it was amazing. You know, it's good TV. You know, and us girls, we have a little argument and we can get over it the next day, but yeah, I was goo. I wasn't that gagged by Vicky's <laughs> comments in Untucked because uh, Vicky's a bit of a shady lady, so that's exactly what I expected to come from her. See, this accent thing, I don't know where the hell this accent thing came from, <laughs> but if RuPaul tells you to do something, you're going to do it. Someone in this room give me an accent, I'm going to do it. I'm from Scotland. <laughs> Is that Scottish? Yeah. Hello, my name's Tamara Thomas. <laughs> that's f good. I think my favourite look from Michael was the puffer runway. Oh, oh, fabulous. And I love that boot as well, sticking out at one side. What color was that, silver? It was like a rose gold. A rose gold, loved it. My favorite looks of gingers was the hearts. Now I would look good in that as well. You would, yes, <laughs> you're, you're not know. having it. <laughs> oh, I tried. So my favorite look of gingers was definitely the no arms, gorgeous oh. moment. <laughs> the gold, the purple, the iridescence, it was just incredible. And my favorite look of Tamara's was the hearts runway. Stunning, the hair, the nails, the corset. My favourite look of Michael's was the Spice Girls mashup monster look mm -hmm. because that's something I have never seen before and that's what I love in a drag performer is when they show me something I've never seen before. So that was definitely my favourite of Michael's. And my favourite of Tamara's was one of any of the 15 bikinis that she wore <laughs> across the series. <laughs> Choose your own. You're welcome. Yeah, again. There was many shady moments of the season, which I love, you know, who love, doesn't love a little bit of shade. But mine goes to Miss Banksy. You know, I inspired the lady a lot with her lyrics. Yet again. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Vicky's mirror message. That mm. put the cat amongst the pigeons, trust me. When Dee Dee was trying to say that she thought Michael was gonna go home and Tamara turned to her and said, so you've got no badges. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely creased me. There were so many moments that weren't shown that we wish had made the final edit. We had the biggest laughter fit. Uh, episode two, where we sat in on top. Oh. It was me, Ginger, Kate and Banksy, and we were just howling to the point, you know when you're laughing so much that you feel delirious and sick. <laughs> it was epic. I think it's all of the little moments that you don't really see on screen, like like them really special moments. Like I always remember at that time when we just filmed everything, like we just did the finale, and we were in our little dressing gowns, freezing cold. We just took a minute to just stand back and just go, wow, girls, we did that. <laughs> we really did that. You know, it's a little special moment. The other 20 minutes of our disaster class, because once they put 10 pence in us on that day, we did not stop. And I'd love to see the full cut of that because it was beautiful. So I think the most surprising part for me from the drag race was the camera man. <laughs> I couldn't believe how many cameramen were in the room. I mean, I don't know the hell I thought this series was going to get regarded, but it took me for a little moment. How much you feel like you're actually in the TV. It's exactly how it looks on telly. And that first day walking in the workroom, you're just like, oh my God, what on Drag Race. It's wild. I think the most surprising part for me was that Michelle Visage is maybe one of the loveliest people you can ever <laughs> meet. And I think on the programme, sometimes she looks a little bit scary. And I'm not, not going to lie, when you're up there getting your critiques, it can be very scary. Mm -hmm. But she's also so lovely, so warm, so generous. It was gorgeous. And so gorgeous. Yes. And really light. Everyone is. I'm like, wow. There's a meme, right? <laughs> it's me. It's Eleanor Generous. <laughs> We're not teeth. And I just want to set this record straight. I have a mouth full of 24 veneers. Let me just show you. Zoom in. Can you see? You're welcome. But that meme was iconic. I love the meme of Dee Dee as the Grim Reaper. And you've got Banksy, Vicky and Kate's deceased heads just lined up. And Dee Dee's there like the demon. I love it. The fact that Banksy's wig lasted longer in the competition than she did, because Tamara wore it in episode nine. And actually, I wear your wig in episode 10. Yeah. <laughs> Sisters, that's 
Cheshire, you know. Like sisterhood, it's the sisterhood Excellent. of travelling wigs. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> It's absolutely wonderful to have been in the final with these two angels of the North. It's been a wonderful experience sharing it with the two of them and it feels so right that there's three brassy Northerners right there at the end. It just feels so surreal that we all made it, especially me, <laughs> <laughs> to the top three of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. It's like a dream come true and this isn't the end. To be in the final with these two daft, silly little girls. <laughs> it means absolutely everything. We have had the best time. We are friends for life. And I couldn't have asked for two nicer people to be in the final with. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> Winning Drag Race is the cherry on the top of what has been a fabulous experience. And the best part of the whole experience is getting to meet and become friends with all of these amazing queens. We're all so different. We're all at the top of our game. And to win at the end just feels wonderful. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Bye.